Hello, this is Keith Allen. Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, we're going to be using Excel 365 and we're going to combine multiple functions to get the result set that we want. First thing is we're going to be uh, utilizing the take function, choose cows function, the sort function, and the vstack function. And what this will produce is it's going to get the top five salaries out of these uh, the data sets that I have or individual arrays. So I have uh, the top array and this bottom array. So we're first gonna work uh, we're gonna work from the inside out. So we're first gonna get use the light utilize the VStack formula. So VStack uh, is gonna take arrays that you select or different data sets and vertically stack them on top of each other to combine one array or one data set. So I'm going to select my first array, control shift down, control shift right to select it, comma. Now I'm going to select my next array or next data set. Control shift down, control shift right, control backspace to bring me back up to the formula. And since I don't have another array to stack on top of uh, another, I'm just going to close out VStack. And it's going to grab all the data from those two different arrays and just stack them on top of one another. Okay. So since we want the top five salaries, what I want to do then with this new data set or this new array is I have to be able to sort it uh, in descending order by the salary. So now we're going to start adding different functions to get to our final result. So sort, the first argument is the array. We already have that by using the VStack. The sort index is what do we want to sort by within this array? We want to sort by the salary column. So since the salary column is actually in one, two, three, fourth column, we want to select the fourth column, comma. Our next argument in the sort function is whether or not we want to sort ascending or descending. We want to sort descending in this case. So I select minus one. And then now the next argument is optional. We're not going to utilize it at this point. I'm going to close out the sort function and hit enter. Now, as you can see, the salaries are now sorting, are sorted in descending order. I'll control shift down. You can see the lowest one at 30,000. The top is at 300,000. Okay. Now the next uh, function that we want to be able to utilize, we want to be able to bring this, uh, this entire data set and combine it just in two columns. We want to pull from this array just the job title and the salary. So this is where the choose cows function comes into play uh, because we're able to choose certain columns that we want out of an array that we select. So now I type in choose cows. The array is what this, the sort and VStack return for us array uh, already, comma. Now, what is the first column that we want to return out of this combined array that we got? Well, we want to get the job title. So the job title is the second column. So we want the second column. What is the next column that we want returned? 
Uh, the next column is just the salary column. So we want to go one, two, three, and four. So we pull out that. Okay, now press enter. Now we got the job title and the salary. Now the last step in this is we want to get just the top five salaries from this data set. Okay, so the top five salaries. So what can we use? The take function. Okay, now we do take. Take function returns rows or columns from an array starting either at the top or at the end. Now we want the top five salaries, so that means that we want to pull out the top five rows from this data set that we have over here. So it wants the array. We already got the array by using choose cows, sort, and vstack together. Our next argument is how many rows that we want to return. We want just five rows, and we want to start at the top. So we're going to use the, a positive number. And we don't want, uh, we already got the columns already chosen already that we want. So we don't need the uh, columns argument to the take function. So press enter. And now we got our final result set. So hopefully this tutorial gave you an idea on how you could achieve something like this by using multiple functions within each other using Excel 365. I want to thank you for stopping by today. Hope you liked the video. Uh, if you do, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.